Latent Heat Explained Latent heat is the energy required to change the physical state of a substance without changing its temperature. It is also known as latent energy or heat of transformation. Latent heat is a form of thermal energy that is hidden or latent within the molecules of a substance. When energy in the form of heat is added to a substance, the molecules gain kinetic energy and move faster. This increased motion causes the molecules to vibrate more and eventually overcome the forces that hold them together in their current state. Once this happens, the substance changes its physical state, such as from a solid to a liquid or a liquid to a gas. There are two main types of latent heat. Latent heat of fusion and latent heat of vaporization. Latent heat of fusion is the energy required to change a solid into a liquid. For example, the latent heat of fusion of water is 334 joules per gram. This means that it takes 334 joules of energy to melt 1 gram of ice into 1 gram of water. Latent heat of vaporization is the energy required to change a liquid into a gas. For example, the latent heat of vaporization of water is 2260 joules per gram. This means that it takes 2260 joules of energy to vaporize 1 gram of water into 1 gram of steam. Now, let's take a closer look at ice, water and steam. If we heat up a cube of ice to its melting point Please see points between B and C on the graph. The heat energy absorbed at this melting point is busy breaking the bonds between the individual water molecules. Once enough bonds between molecules have been broken, the ice cube will melt and become liquid. After this point, if we keep heating up the melted ice or liquid water, a temperature rise will be detected. Please. See between points C and D on the graph. The temperature will keep rising up until the next state change, liquid to gas. At the vaporization point, the liquid water would stop increasing in temperature whilst it transitions to gaseous form, steam. This is shown between points D and E on the graph. Once in the gas state, if we were to continue heating further, the gaseous water or steam would now rise in temperature, which cools the air. Here are some examples of latent heat. Melting ice. When ice melts, it absorbs latent heat from its surroundings. This is why ice cubes can cool drinks down. Boiling water. When water boils, it absorbs latent heat from its surroundings. This is why boiling water can cook food. Condensation of water vapor. When water vapor condenses, it releases latent heat to its surroundings. This is why clouds can produce rain. So, in summary, breaking or making bonds is why temperature does not rise or fall when a substance undergoes a state change. And this energy required to break or make bonds that allow a certain physical state of matter is called latent heat. I hope you found this explanation helpful.